Hello my friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the buttons. A button is a view that it's used to perform some action when clicked or tapped. It's a very common widget in Android and developers often use it. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. The button inherits from the text view, which in turn inherits from the view. So the button inherits the attributes of the text view the ID, text, text color, size, and so on. Okay, so I want from you to concentrate with me in order to get the goal of making this video, which is handling the click events on the bot, not dealing with the attributes. So back to Android Studio, I will jump directly to the activity underscore main. I will keep this edit text from the previous video because I will show you uh, later on what is the use. In order to create a button, we start by this tag button. We start by wrap content, wrap content. You can see that there is a button created. I will drag it and drop it here and I will click on infer constraint. So it will give me these constraints. Okay. And these are the attributes of this constraint. Now, if I go to here and write Android column, I can see these are the attributes that are that we've seen in the text view. So the button, since the button is a text view, is a, which is an inheritance relation, we can use these attributes here. So I can put the text like exactly like the text view, uh, click me. Okay, you can see this directly into here. Okay, this is the text view attribute. Okay, I can make Android um, um, uh, text style. I can make it as bold. You can see it's changing to bold. Okay, I can use on click, but this is a uh, but this is, I don't prefer this way. And you can specify here the on click method. So when the user click on it, it will directly create, exec, go and execute the, the name of the function here. But I don't prefer this way. I will show you a, a very simple way. You can play with attributes. So if you can, if I want from you to create buttons and start playing with the, uh, uh, and discover the attributes of, of it. Okay. But till now I'm good. I need uh, this for our uh, tutorials. And this is the lesson of the, and the attributes of this lesson. Okay. The most important part of the, of clearing buttons and, uh, and this video also, the most important part of it is handling the click events. Okay. So I will make here the button in order to declare a button variable. I am going to make val btn or whatever you want button equal to find a view by id r dot id dot bot then here we are going to handle the click event on the bot okay button btn dot set on click listener i'm making a set on click listener what we are going to make, we are going to display a toast message. So here there is, um, there is a, 
anonymous class that's passed in the onset on click listener and a um, an interface but i want uh, i want from you to concentrate with this btn.set on click listener i need to display a message or here we can make the code to be executed execute this code when the button is clicked okay guys so btn.set on click listener i'm waiting for the user to click on it if the user click click on it i'm going to execute this block of code included in between these two curly braces okay so i will create a toast message we will learn about toast messages in the next video so make text i will pass pass three parameters the context the the message and the duration so first i would use this at main activity r dot string or i can make the text like uh, the button i will click on enter to go down the button is clicked and the third parameter is the length so i will use uh, th there are two options the length short and the length um, long so toast dot long or short i will make it long okay and i will click on show uh, show i will call the show uh, method again okay so this is toast this is the make text and i will pass the three parameters and then i will click on i will call the show method method in order to show the toast so i will run the program now and i will show how the handling takes place so if i go to here if i click on the button there is a toast message this is the toast message the button is clicked the button is clicked okay so this is the text that it's passed this is the message that i'm going to make so you did you did you notice that when i click on this it will give me the message so the app is waiting me the waiting the user in order to click on this button to display the message containing the button is clicked message okay this is how we handle the click event how to uh, to wait for the user click on the button okay so congratulations guys we've handled the click events and we have created the button directly and handle the click events of their spot one important note uh, i keep, uh, kept this text view uh, and this edit text sorry in order to get the text so i will cut this this line and i will paste it here in the on click uh, set on click in order to when the user click on it it will get the text and display it in the uh, in the message so here i will make plus edit text input when the user enters here his name when and click on the button it will display his name in a toast message okay so if i run the program now okay please enter your name i will name it as jack and i click on this button it will display for me a toast message telling jack again and here we go so in this exercise and this video we've learned how to create a button and how to create uh, the ha the handling and how to handle the click events and how to create a listener for listening for the users click on this button
So we used the previously created edit text in order to get the text from it using the et.txt and display it into a toast message. Okay, so congratulations, guys. We've made many things in this video and I hope I see you in the next video in order to talk about 